A 30 year old male presented with progressive muscle weakness since two years. What is the diagnosis? So first of all, here we see that this is a MRI because here the bone is black and this is a T2 weighted MRI because the CSF here in the lateral ventricles in the circle spaces it is white. So this is a T2 weighted MRI where we have this hyper intensity that is white pathology bilateral symmetrical. If we have to localize anatomically now this is along the corticospinal tracts. This is involving bilateral corticospinal tracts. These are the corticospinal tracts on each side. So bilateral symmetrical hyperintensity in corticospinal tracts is seen in amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Why do we see that is? So amyotrophic lateral sclerosis is the most common rapid form of motor neuron disease. It affects both upper motor neurons and lower motor neurons. So because of the neuronal loss here in the cortex, the distal white matter, it starts having valerian degeneration. So in valerian degeneration, there is increased water content in the myelinated exons. So increased water content, so water is white on T2. So you will have hyperintensity in the white matter tracts in the corticospinal tracts. So it is because of the valerian degeneration due to neuronal loss. So this will show hyperintensity in the entire corticospinal tracts starting from the precentral gyrus going down pyramidal tracts and into the spinal cord. So if we have a look at this image, here we see bilateral symmetrical hyperintensity in the precentral gyrus, that is the motor strip. Here we see hyperintensity bilateral symmetrical in the internal capsules. And here we see hyperintensity in the cerebral peduncles. So that is how ALS presents on MRI.